Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Rate My Fight. This is episode three. And today we're looking at a battle again between a Gladius and an Arrow. Myself and Miss Gabby's, who is another fellow streamer. You can find her link under the description here, who also streams Star Citizen. A good friend of mine and one hell of a good pilot. So we're going to look today about energy. Now, when I say energy, I'm not talking about the laser power in your weapons. I'm not talking about the shields. I'm not talking about your thruster power. I'm talking about your momentum energy, which means the the physical ship itself sliding through space and how much inertia that you've you've built up during a turn and how much inertia it's going to cost you to slow down into another turn, right? So too much energy buildup or too much inertia buildup is going to cost you target time and it's also going to make yourself a more predictable target and that's really what I want to drive home here today, right? So we're looking at this fight here, and again, right? At this point here, after the first two turns, Gabby's has taken a lot of hits. And it's because at the first two passes, the state of her energy on her Gladius was too high. And because the energy was too high on the first two turns, I had too many shots on target, which puts me ahead in the DPS race, which then allows me to kind of stabilize and go for what's called a trade. Okay, trade being both ships are nose to nose, and it's just about, uh, you know, I can I can take the damage because I've already had too much damage applied, right? So the, the math just works out. You can take the trade, right? So now that we understand what to look for, we're going to watch this again. And I want you to pay close attention to the first two passes, okay? So here we go again into the raid fight, into the 45. We're right again, we're back to nose to nose, right? And you can see same kind of pattern, right? Into a corkscrew here. I'm keeping my momentum nice and tight. I'm making a move as I'm turning here. But you'll notice that Gabby's has so much energy built up in this turn that her flight pattern becomes what's called static, right? Too much forward uh, momentum from the main thrusters can cause this. Too much holding a strafe direction can also cause this problem right so here she comes in a nice slingshot back in you can see i've already made three movements on my vector before gabby's is within range here and again the second turn lots of energy build up here lots of consistent motion and even though it's very smooth and gabby's is doing everything right gunnery wise the counter maneuvering is putting her at a bit of a disadvantage here, which then allows me to apply too much damage, right? And then we go into the third turn here where we've got the distance on each other. This is kind of where the Gladius wants to sit. But again, uh, a good push at the right time here, push forward, you know, make the fight rate limited again, get a few shots on target. And then it, once again, it goes into the trade. But at that point, I'm too far ahead in the DPS race that I can just stabilize and take the shot. So let's watch it one more time in, in, in real time. And I want you to, again, take a look at the first two turns and understand, kind of visualize in your head here, why these fights end up like this because of too much built-up energy. Remember, it's always based on the ACE acronym I talked about before, AIM, Counter Maneuver, Evade. But again, first turn comes in, lots of energy build-up, track, 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 move myself into position, counterclockwise, clockwise. Again, that's my third, fourth movement here while Gabby's is still on her first turn, right? So that's, again, the built up of energy, right? Which is a very, very, very common thing that most pilots get themselves into where they're trying to be smooth to, to, to smooth their shot out and it costs them uh, too much energy build up, right? So um, there are many, many guys examples of this kind of stuff happening. Um, I've made this mistake. You will make this mistake. Your friends will make this mistake. And everybody you see who plays this game will make this mistake. This is the most common mistake anybody can do. And it's just too much momentum, right? It's very easy to do. I still do it sometimes. It's just the way it is, right? So the best thing you can do is just keep on practicing, keep on putting the time in, keep on every day putting that little 1% in, all right? So pretty short video today, uh, today, guys, nothing too crazy. But again, right, these common things, right? So for Gabby's, what I want to see from you is just a little less on a throttle and a little tighter in your turns and make sure that you don't become too predictable in your motion pattern. If you find yourself holding an angle too long, flip the fight counterclockwise, start working on a new angle and force the change in the fight so it doesn't become what's called static, right? If it becomes too static, becomes too predictable, somebody is going to take too many hits, and it's probably going to be the person that's too static, right? 
All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Take a look at Predator Mounts if you're interested in getting a Predator Mount system for your joysticks. They're a mounting system that I use. I find them to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, go buy Gabby's uh, stream. It'll be linked below the stream, guys, or the video here. Uh, give her away from the Avengers stream. She's a, she's a friend of mine and an absolutely fantastic Star Citizen streamer. So I hope to see you guys out for my stream and also Gabby's stream. I hope to see you guys out for the next YouTube video. I was Avenger 1, and I'll see you next time.